bubbling up walls through cracks in doors, we're beyond the pale wind holler hipster's wisdom. Thrift store bag man come weary home, his fetish is laid bare. He's a braggart and a suicide. The green gin was knocking boots and poof going into the last Arabian night. For the plane crash let a smack on the roof of my mouth. I yawn and skate back into the false boredom and whiskey dream twenty years gone by, and still hollowed out and occupied by the soulful chorus laid to fetal heaven. Eve and Ho, so we flew the bitch out the window, tumbling down bottomless stairs of wilting white lilies, straining the ground in the field. Where am I in this dreadless pit of panic poetry and the full moon of time? Why me? Why me? End scene. Cut the picture of Bill's home. I think I want to ask you about criticism, right? So, um, I read a review of a show of yours, uh, a gallery show in the Hamptons. It was, generally speaking, it was a, it was a good review from the New York Times. But Any time they review the New York Times, I don't care what this is. Okay. <laughs> but but there was not but towards the end of it it was, it was quite critical. It said that, well there were some pieces in here that, you know, don't really do Mr. Simmons justice and and, and it doesn't do anything to advance him um, as a painter. And so I guess you already answered the question that, you know, it's the New York Times so you are like fine. Uh, you know, anytime you get a review and there's some negative stuff and it cuts a little bit. But you know, there's sixty paintings in that show. You didn't like some of them, so what? You didn't have anybody. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but in general, criticism is okay. I mean, either you take it as valid criticism, or you, you know, just for the hell with it. The dealer that was dealing in that show uh, thought they just had to throw in something negative. I actually took it to heart and said, well, you know, because it was such a large show, that they probably could have been edited better. And there probably were some pieces that weren't as good as others. And so when you look at some you know, a whole group of things, and some really, really touch you in some way, you know, and you're talking about an entire show, I think it was balanced. I didn't care. Do you mind talking about Sure. So um, you have six books. And uh, I tried to read most of them. Um, I did read your novel. Okay. No, it was a, it was, I saw that it was, a, it was a comment on Amazon. Right, right, right. And so, so, <laughs> so, 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 so. New York Times like it again. <laughs> Back to New York Times. But, um, or, uh, yeah. Do you, like, think, do you think your life is a blessing or, or a curse? I mean, depends, depends on what the situation is. Uh, I think at this point in my career, um, it, that, that doesn't come up as much. Uh, early on in my career, it was like, oh, you know, because I got two very, very famous brothers, um, that people tied me to them and thought that until they actually saw the work, you know. Um, and then I have staunch defenders who, if you read that same thing, there was a guy after him said, he was very upset. You don't even have any clue who you're talking about, what you're doing, and did you even read the book? Uh, right now, the book, I'll tell you how the book came into being. I sent it to an editor who wrote me back and said, if I'm on page 10, if I like it as much as I page 70, you have a deal. I paid 125, she said, uh, I'm gonna send you a check. She liked the book. Um, she liked it so much that she paid for a graphic novel. They like the story so much that it's now in the picture of a movie production company. So that guy, <laughs> I think he said he was a writer too. I haven't seen his book. 